and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Yenda, varimi ni. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. It is another episode of Podcast and Chill, and today I'm chilling with the uh, uh, the coolest OG in the game, <laughs> Mr. Slick on Live. What's up? What's man? happening, dog? Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. I nice. gotta say, dude, you got a big operation, dog. Let me tell you something. Today was my first time seeing Slick on Live, like behind the scenes. Dude, you got like an army behind you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you make my channel look like a picky need. <laughs> Uh, come on now yes, Come dope. on man uh, Your channel is dope It's never about like the people It's about the people that actually consume Yeah, you know? yeah. And you got a good thing And uh, and um, I mean like I'm really impressed with your passion I don't know why they keep firing you from the stations <laughs> though. I know when, when there's somebody to drop You're always the nigga to drop You're the nigga that's always dropped in these stations <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back home, bro. You know, Wait kill a zone. cow or something. You bend that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Slaughter a cow. Why are they always dropping you, man? <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, you know, you gotta be like Jay. I don't, I don't get dropped. I drop the label. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now you're starting your own shit now. Yeah, now you're yeah. about to drop people, yeah. you know? But anyway, listen, man, before we fuck start, those stations. We, we, before we start I mean, I'm okay, I take that back if he doesn't feel that way. <laughs> they still got to play music, dog. <laughs> As if you can't. <laughs> but anyway, listen, before we start the interview, dog. Right. No, I gotta shout say, out to those stations. I got to say thank you for getting me laid in high school, bro. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've always had, like, uh, Mr. Delivery. Yeah. I've yeah. always had a pussy Mr. Delivery. <laughs> PD. PMD. Yeah. So it was um, it was back when YFM used to do those ranch show uh, gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was this mommy I was, fi- I was feeling, you know? But I was scared to tell her that, you know, I want to smash. So I took her to a ranch show. So you guys were on stage, squatter camp. Yeah. And uh, I think it was you on the mic. You're like, listen, if you're with a mommy, if you're with a shorty uh, for this next song, stand behind her because it's about to get lit. Yeah, and then you play tap that ass, girl, I'll tap that ass, <laughs> <laughs> and the rest was history. <laughs> you knew that song was gonna go a long way. Yeah, and long way in every way you can interpret it. Is it safe to say you're the Beyonce of of Squatter Camp? It is unsafe to say that. Why not? I feel like you are. I don't know about that. If Beyonce is this stressed and broke, <laughs> then yes. <laughs> because <laughs> when you think Squatter Camp, you think like. Slicker, dude. I don't know. I don't know. He's a flabber. You think Bowser, you know. Come on now. Yeah. And, and did you guys Max, you know. Yeah. Did mm. you guys make money? Because you had to split the check like seven <laughs> ways, right? We definitely made money for the time. You know, I mean, like making two million in Anim like 12 years ago was for a real? big deal. You know what I mean? Shit, making yeah. that now is still a big deal. Uh, All right. Oh, I bet you're broke, but I give up how kind of broke you are. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, I'm saying as an artist, if you're a successful artist, if you're making two million, you're doing okay. I mean, you're height, really yeah. height, you yeah. know, because if you break two million in 12 months, you know, uh, what is that? It's like, um, okay, yeah, you're right. It's actually like close to 100 and. 50, 80,000 a month, it's not, it's not bad. Some guys are making that over a weekend, you know, yeah, yeah. today, in today's time, you know. So, two million was a height back then. What I like about you, dude, is like you're a visionary, bro. Yeah. Uh, and also you're business savvy. Uh, I heard you had taxis. Do you still have taxis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving me headaches. Yeah, but yeah. Is it? How many taxis you got? Uh? No, we only have a limit of five, so I got filled, I filled my quota. Yeah, and how mm. long have you been ha- having those taxes? Mm, I've had them ever since she, before even. It was, it was what I did with my first check with Squatter Camp. So it's, it's that long. That's how long I've been in it. Shit, dude. See, this is what I'm saying. Because if that was my first check, the first thing, the last thing I'd want to buy is a taxi. You know what I mean? And that's why you keep getting dropped. <laughs> 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 you probably come with the girls to the studio. You know? Yeah, and you, 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 yeah, <laughs> you and Spoo got the same problem. Yeah, yeah. You know, Spoo got fired from IFM because he also came with girls at the studio a long time ago. Yeah. You know, but Kabzilla snitched on him, the late Kabzilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he never believed it. How was the vibe like back in those days, man? Mm. Like when you were in the come up and YFM was still in bedrooms, no? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it was um, it was nice, man. I, I mean, it was nice. It was nice for us, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, um, every time is nice for whichever group of youth are in it. You know, mm-hmm. it's the most you make of it. I just think that you know, um, people don't want to have um, fun, you know, for the rest of their lives, and part mm-hmm. of Having fun is having controlled fun. Yeah. If you want to extend your fun. <laughs> yeah. Niggas have fun, go broke, become parents, end up in a normal job. I don't, don't have too much fun. Just try to have fun so you can do what you stress because you can do what you love forever. That's my thing. You know, you know, you you know, don't have reputational damage fun. You yeah. know what I mean? You have fun that allows you to keep doing what you love forever because... How about the girls that you're screwing when you're young are going to be grandmothers? <laughs> yeah. um, all the girls that you were chasing when we were young, you know, most of them girls literally like, uh, I mean, um, most of them are old, man. I ain't they got kids. I ain't trying to touch them, yeah. you know. But your fun, you can touch it even when your ass is old. Uh, uh, when your ass is wrinkled, you can touch your fun. Them girls, they're going to get old. Speaking and about girls, uh, how many girls were you guys smashing when, like, Squatter camp was at its peak, bro. Um, as a unit, um, as a unit, I'm sure we could finish a high school. We could <laughs> literally open a girls. We could open a girls' primary and high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Some people literally weren't doing so well, so they would probably be like, you know, the kids that are homeschooled, the ADD kids. There's two in the class. <laughs> Some people would probably have two in a class. Some yeah. people would probably in a year. Some people would probably have uh, like a classroom in the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like full field. Everybody's sitting on each other at the tables. And some people would literally just have like a nice private school classroom a year. Yeah. You know, that's how I'd, I'd class our escapades. And then and, and did you guys ever fight like over the same chick? Nah, fuck that. Yeah. Never that, you know, shit. I mean, fuck that, you know. I mean, you know, uh, we kind of knew that, like, um, we knew it was, it was, it was too abnormal for it to be normal. Mm. And we've been with each other for long enough to know what normal looks like. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to fuck you. It's in like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody like trying to give you free liquor like that. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to give you money like that, you yeah. know. Ain't nobody, you know. So it was too abnormal for us to literally like fight over the abnormality of it. Yeah. So we 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 lived in that moment. We made it what it was, and um, and I mean I'm grateful that we all we all except the late flavor we all alive without any type of um. STDs, mm, HIVs, mm, mm. AIDS, AZT. Survive the storm. You know what I mean? Um, God is good, you know, but the condom has been strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I mean, like, the condom is strong, but God is strong. <laughs> Dude, I got a story I got to tell you, man. Yeah. So um, during high school, this friend of mine is like, listen, there's a party in the north. We got to go. Mm. So, you know, like in high school, when there's a party, like everybody goes there. Yeah, yeah. So we get there. We got drunk. I uh, had to order like one of uh, our friends' father came to pick us up. So I don't really don't remember much about that night. It's all like, fizzled out a little yeah, bit, yeah, you know. Yeah. But later I found out it was actually Bonang's twenty-first. Really? Yeah. I wonder if I was there. That's what I'm asking. Were you, weren't you dating at that time? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yo, what year was it? Uh, was I in grade 11 on my trick? But it was in the 2000s. I think you guys were dating, bro. Because I remember she made a speech or something. Doesn't she always? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, I'm sorry. Anyway. Well, I'm sure she launched a, a champagne and she made a speech, you know? You know, like, which one? Oh, yeah. Which speech are we talking about? But anyway, how did you meet up with Banang? How did um, you guys start dating? I never met her. Like, we, 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 um, I never met her. She was by default. You know what I mean? Um, what does that even mean, though? Default means that you've always been around, mm. waiting to be met. Mm. You know, you don't get like, oh, hey, this is Banang. This is it. No. Yeah. She was by default. Um, and, 
and default led to design. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? Um, funny story I, I never said before. But now I was like a little girl, right? Mm. A little girl. Um, and I was older, obviously. And I like Banang's sister, mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, um, and they, they, they were, we were all from the same hood. Yeah. You know, um, so Banang's sister would just fucking be rejecting me, you know, like, <laughs> be rejecting me. Like, Did you know who you were, dog? I, man, <laughs> I'm saying life was normal. <laughs> 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 you know, this is what I knew, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banang's, sister, reality, was, Banang's yeah. sister was rejecting me. Um, I well, if I could, I try again. Should be chasing them other niggas, you know, that have cars and shit. Yeah. Um, right, whatever. You know, but then when I literally saw me somewhere, and like was like, yo, you know, it kind of cornered me. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And I kept saying, nah, you a kid. Uh uh-uh. uh. At that time, you know, I mean. I ain't trying to go to varsity to go pick up a girl. Uh, so I'm like, nah, nah, uh-uh. Plus, I've been going out with girls my age most yeah, of the time. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you're a kid. You're a kid. Oh, man, she cornered me. She cornered me. You know, I always had one guy who would just instigate some shit about girls. <laughs> my nigga smacks, <laughs> you know. Shout out to Smex. <laughs> you know, so she pretty much cornered me. Um, and um, it's a relationship I literally never um, kind of almost subscribed to get into. Yeah. It literally was, she was there. And I just, and then I was like, okay, fuck it then. Yeah. And, um, and um, I think what I liked about her was a drive, you know, um, generally. Um, and that really and a coochie, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I wasn't even hitting that like nah, that. I don't lie, I'm slick. just saying. <laughs> I mean, before we even got there, you know. I mean, yeah. obviously, because she was around, I was like, I knew spare like Bonang. Mm. And they were in the same varsity, varsity DJ. DJ. Yo, what, what? Spare had a crush on Bonang, right? Like, yo, Spare had a crush on Bonang. So I was like. Go there with your other friends and vast. I was just trying to go, no, no, yeah. no. And then when you hit it, did you change your mind? Nah, that would have made me change my mind, you know. Mm. Fuck, man. Yo, yo, man, you know, fucking pussy's the last thing that's going to make me change my mind, you <laughs> know. My nigga. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, she was there for long enough to make me go, okay, then, fuck, you know. Um, and through that also, you know, I mean, um, like I say, um, she was also... I never even knew that she was on TV. Yeah. You know what I mean? She was doing some children's show. Is it true you dumped over Facebook? Was that like a thing nah, that people made bruh, up? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. Actually, I dumped her and I got evidence, you know. Shout out to um, Student Village that were doing something. And they had a friend called Pindi Piri who called me the day before. And she was like, yo, when I'm supposed to be I'm seeing here. Mm. And she's crying in the toilet. What's going on? What's going on? I said, yo, homegirl, Pindi, I just can't do it. You know, it's mm-hmm. over. Mm. So then I'm in Cape Town and um, minding my business, you know, and the game has kicked. You know, the game has kicked in now. It was always undercover because, you know, yeah. like, you know, everybody knows. It's lit. Now you you're tripping in the so souls, the, the, right? Yeah, you know, and there's this girl, man, that, like, I've been, mean, like, like saying that, yeah, you know your, yeah, yeah, you know timing, you yeah. know. I can risk it all. <laughs> no, I can't risk it all. I don't have nothing to risk. <laughs> I am. Oh, by by the way, okay, no, I ain't go. I ain't risking a damn thing, nigga. Yeah, Niggas yeah. out here dying, shit, nigga. I'm <laughs> <laughs> risking with two condoms. But like the reality is that like <laughs> I'm gonna risk it all. I'm gonna spend all my money at the garage <laughs> buying condoms. That's a safe sex message, by the way. I hope y'all guys actually took the positive of it. So in Anyway, I'm with this chick in Cape Town, and, you know, I'm like, yo, you know? And she says some shit like, where's my nang? What? Where's my nang anymore, yeah? Hey, you know. <laughs> so now I go back to my hotel, and, I mean, I never got this chick because she asked me that shit. Mm. Man, I wake up on Facebook in the morning. I'm like, yo, motherfuckers better know I'm not with this girl. Mm. Sent. 
present. I become the first person to go viral mm. from social media to traditional platforms. Wow. No one has ever gone viral. I'm, the, I'm, one of the, I'm sure I was the first person that a story was taken from Facebook, personalities, and it was headlines in the streets. That's crazy, dude. Now, I don't see that coming, obviously. Mm, mm, mm. Plus, I don't know the magnitude of our relationship in mm. people's perception. Yeah. You know, I keep saying to reason in them, I go, as when I reason, I go, AKA, y'all just trying to replicate this shit that we were doing, mm. y'all niggas. But the thing is that we, I never knew how big it is. Mm. And you never had internet data stats for people to actually go, this is how big this relationship is. Yeah, there wasn't any footprint before then. You don't even know, mm. right? So I'm in Cape Town, I'm like, yo, this chick asked me about a girl in Joburg. What the fuck's going on? Yo, what the fuck? I ain't going, she's asking me about Banai. I'm like, she's asking me about a girl in Joburg that I ain't even with. Oh, hell no. Just with the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any disturbances. <laughs> you know, yo, fuck, I don't, don't be asking me some shit like while I'm coming up on these and you're like, oh, it's what I got. Nah. So, um, lesson learned there was that this thing is huge. Yeah. Be careful I mean, what you type. Forget, be careful what you type. Um, before, the, the last thing that was this big and conversational was maybe. Tingan Tobel and Besets in Kumale. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. Um, so in our generation, it's not there. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. It's like me and Benang are literally starting it for our generation. Yeah. It was the birth of what we're seeing now. Then, you know, obviously Benang becomes the, the TV girlfriend. Then, mm. it's, then it's Euphonic. Then it's AKA. Mm. Then it's Reason and it's Loot Lab. I mean, you know, you, you, I ain't even going to try to knock like one clean pretty because they've been out there doing that shit. You know, I ain't going to knock the nail. Have you ever dated anything. another famous chick apart from Benang? Hey, the, I can see you going through the list. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know... <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't had anything uh, that was supposedly serious like Renang with any other supposedly serious okay, who like Who were you vibing that? with? Yeah? Who were you vibing with? It might not have been serious, but mm, who you yeah, vibing I, with? No, man, I'd be disrespect. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, every girl that I did anything with, yeah. I did it out of respect. All right, cool. Listen. You know, uh, I, you, you, you understand that? No, I do, I do. Yeah, we, I, I you don't you. kiss and tell. Yeah, 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 you know, you know, we're going to fuck, but like it's out of respect. Um, I've never been, and that's another thing, you know, because I'm, I'm in the game. I, I wasn't that nigga that literally used girls to go mm. because, you know, it was like, listen, man, but out of respect, man, I can tell you one thing. There was not one place that I, ne that I went to that there wasn't one or two girls I'm hitting. Mm. Mm. I, I don't know whether Standard. it's events, whether Standard. it was, that's always, and this was in, and people go, Joe Big is small. You're like, damn. <laughs> There ain't enough girls <laughs> spread out. That's what I think. <laughs> All right, listen, enough about girls. But I'm a married man now, so yeah, shout out to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to and, that and, later. And, and, and you know, you got to do all this shit before you get married. Straight up. I yeah. don't give my woman problems. Yeah. It's out of your system. Niggas don't believe me when I say that I haven't slept with another. And I know they're going to be like, yeah, of course, you shouldn't be sleeping with other women when you're married. But when I tell niggas that like, I ain't slept with another woman for six years. What more can you want? You've done it all, dog. But, and that, and Anal, that's, and everything, that's, all that So, shit. you know, with all the shit I'm talking about, yo, I don't give a damn. Y'all say, yeah, oh, he was a dog. Y'all married to niggas that still aren't finished. They, they aren't finished this yeah, shit. Yeah. You know? We did it from the superstars to the to to the hood rats. <laughs> you name it. Yo, man, come on, man. We cleaned up the whole floor. <laughs> you know? I'm saying, though. <laughs> yeah, my G. Well, then you got a gang. You know, y'all DJs literally, like, eat after us. You know, DJs used to Left eat off. Us. I mean, look. I mean, like, I mean, like, all you got to do is just look at it. Think about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We do the prayer and then you guys eat. You know what I mean? No, no, but I'll give it. you that. Like whenever I was playing at a, a party and there was a hip hop floor and a house floor, the hip hop floor had all the baddest mummies. And all I'm saying, I'm, I'm not even pointing it out to anybody. The truth of the matter is that, like, across the board, like DJs, TV actors, all them guys eat after the superstars, <laughs> the real superstars. <laughs> The guys who don't read scripts, 
<laughs> the guys who come from the hoods or whatever who write their own scripts and perform their own songs and maybe get their... Everyone eats after those guys. Yeah. The real superstars. Yeah. So it ain't directed at anybody before y'all become like all scandalous and shit. But y'all know, actors, DJs, y'all eat after the superstars. All right, I've been trying to stop talking about chicks for the past five minutes. So, all right, let's stop talking about chicks. All right, cool. So I was doing Have an interview. <laughs> I pray for you. <laughs> you know what? You, you, you started the interview like that and said, yo, you did that tap that ass. I literally pray for you, nigga. I literally pay for you, you got some ass. <laughs> and you weren't even a DJ. You're on your way to being a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you going to kill me, dog. <laughs> so I was doing an interview, right? Mm. With uh, Scoop Makatin. My nigga. Uh, so he says, this is what he had to say about state of hip-hop culture right mm. now. He said, I don't think we make good music, but I feel it's going to be hard to maintain a South African identity after people like Quest Dance Java. Mm. What's your take on that? Without a doubt, you know, I mean, filling those um, shoes from Krista and Java uh, is going to be huge, you know. Um, um, I keep saying that, like, you know, um, the music, people are not going to be looking at, like, um, 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 people are going to be listening first. The thing is that we're competing for global ears now. Mm. So your your sound can't be like, ah, it's traditional. you got to be competing for global ears if you want to pay in the global space. You can have local success, but we're competing for global ears. When we're playing competing for global ears, you got to know how to mix the global sound with your local sound. But then what's going to make you have longevity is when they go, so what's your story? Mm. And you go, well, I'm from this hood, and this is what it is, and this is how real it is. Versus when they ask, you know, what's your story? And you're like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm like... You know, we all got like our... Uh, yeah. and, and where are you from? Yeah. From South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so there needs to be substance. Man, we're competing for global ears. And global it's also, bags. And, and it's also like like artists also have to make a personal commitment of where, how big they want to grow. Mm. Do you want to be a Joba sumo, sumo club artist? Do you want to be a national wow. artist? Do you want to be an African artist? But do, you wanna, do you do you want to be a global artist? Yeah. All these things need different type of work. Some people are quick, happy just being club art, artists, yeah. book for clubs, and they think that's the world. Some people like are, are national artists and they don't care about going outside the country. Mm. Some people want to expand to Africa and that's what they're doing. Some people want expand it all. The they want to yeah. be world mm. global. So I mean. Right now, being, being success is not default. Mm. You literally have to premeditate where you want to get to. Wow. We're in that space now where you need to premeditate how big you want to be. Because Nasty C is starting to, he's starting the global benchmark at the bottom. Shane Eagle, they're starting the global benchmark at the bottom. Um, but like, it's big for us at this time because what they're doing at the bottom is that if they're at the bottom now, if they don't move higher, there's going to be a group of kids who will use the same steps, pass them, and get bigger. The same way with squatter camp, these same s- people use the same steps, passed us, and got bigger. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, um, are you sometimes envious? Like, shit, I wish I was popping in the game no, right now. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm grateful. I was, I, I'm grateful. I was part of the foundation. Mm. That's my general purpose in life. Yeah, is to start shit. You know. Um, that's another thing I like about you because I, n- I had no idea you put so many people on. I mean, obviously, like Quest, I know you put him mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. I did an interview with Younger. He was mm-hmm. saying you, p- you put him on. Mm-hmm. Spare Naves. Mm-hmm. They used to work at Bada Bing as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, names, and there's so yeah. many other names. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those are the people that I could say directly had. But I'm not even going to speak about the people that have indirectly yeah. influenced. But people don't know. Um, I mean, the guys from Hype, <laughs> no, I, Ru knows. I go, you know, Hype's, Hype's third issue wasn't going to, fourth issue wasn't going to see the light and this until they put Squatter Camp on the cover because both their first issues were failing, mm. you know. Um, YFM literally had rap activity, but they couldn't monetize it until Squatter Camp started making a success and they could start using that as a case study. That was a spillover for Metro FM. Go, okay, we also need to do rhyme and reason, you know. Um, so, my nigga, um, you've been pushing post on a lot of things, eh? <laughs> and then they just go viral. Yeah, I mean, look, look the thing is that, you know, we, we have been, uh, and, I, and I say we because I, I'm, I've just also been caught in it, and, but I've never been, uh, my saying is that 
I've never made money on my own, you know. Um, I make money for the team, you know what I mean? Um, if the team is with the vision, we all go and eat, you know. I, um, Case in point, slick on life. Of course, you know. I mean, 18 kids work for me, you know what I mean? Um, it's, um, um, it's, it's a blessing, but I took the risks. I took the risks. I borrowed the money, yeah. you know, um, to get it to that point, you know. Um, and um, and every and every month, every year, it's, it's a risk, you know. Um, people don't respect that. Um, it, it's uh, not that we need people to respect it, but it's not a thing that I've never seen Warren Buffett stunting. Mm. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I I've never seen Mark Zuckerberg, um, Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> stunting. So even though the slick on life is what it is, um, you know, you see me, I'm pretty simple. I don't even have a car. You know what I mean? Um, I, and that's by choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I got rid of my car. Like I, you know, and you know, my it's wife, a sacrifice that you were willing uh, to make. Not even that. You know, um, it, it's like, you know. It's it's like you know um you, you know you, you start putting value on other things mm. you know I mean um I, I know how to how to get a car mm. and um and I need to get to that point where I can get a car and I don't even pay for it mm. and I get the bank to pay for it yeah right now everything is reversed we we paying for it we we paying for the interest so you got to build a certain amount of money so you are able to make enough interest so the bank starts paying for your car and that's my goal i'm i am so so literally i can tell you um i'm in a i'm in i'm i'm fortunately in a in a business in a business that's doing well you know i'm a slick on life um um but but I, but like the decision not to have a car was simply based on I was driving like um How much is slick on life worth on right now? Uh, I, I don't know how much it's worth to be honest with you. But um more than a mil? Oh come on. She it's petty cash. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, bro, that that's probably my target for um, like that's even a, that's not even enough for me in a month. You know? <laughs> nah, no, no, listen. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's not enough for me to sustain a business in a month. Yeah, it's not. Like I said, you got a whole army behind you. Yeah, and it, it's, it's people doing what they love. You know, they they um um, it's it's people who maybe are like a young you where you 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 got a great voice you know you got a great personality you got charisma um and but no one has got his place for you until a yfm calls you mm. i've got the same with guys who design mm. who will, i'm a designer but i can work in an asian no i'm i'm a videographer but i can't do mm. but shit this is the culture that i love and i consume and i'm telling stories with those people mm. um it's it's really the same thing i'm creating a new environment of opportunity and a new ecosystem and 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 so that's why when you asked me and you're like, oh, it's a, it, it, I'm small, B. Mm. I'm small in comparison to um, what Beats is doing in the world, you know, in comparison to what Spotify BT, is doing. Is doing. Man, forget those guys. I'm talking about digital, you know. Mm. I'm talking about digital, you know. Mm. And, and I don't say forget them like forget them. I can't talk about people who come with it. With, with, uh, you can't start BET without capital. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't start BET without capital. I'm talking about like having no no money and starting from scratch yeah. and building a little enough for someone to say, let me put in some money yeah. and building to say I could sell and building to be to be blessed enough to be speaking to some of the biggest corporates and going, okay, cool, how do we work with you, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and to say to you, if you ask me, is it over a mil? I mean, I, I say, I'm not going like, like it's not a stunt, mm. it's not a flex. Mm. I, um, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, truth. it's an educational thing, mm. where I'm saying, we don't, you don't do this type of thing, and have a fucking big car. Mm. You know, you don't do this type of thing and and be like heavily 
stressed with brands. Yeah. You know, you know, our democracy, dem- dem- democracy is like like 21 years or some shit. Like, unless you're from a Ramaphosa, a Zuma, a Sisulu, or whatever family, mm-hmm. maybe. But guys who are starting from the dust, like from what you're pod- doing with mm-hmm. your podcast, you like me. Mm-hmm. Me yeah. and you, we starting from the dust. Yeah. You know, yeah. so guys like us who's starting from the dust, we can't afford. Oh well, look, the luxury. You know, literally, you let's say I can, right? Mm. But I have to make a choice and say what is important. Yeah. Instead right? of buying a Gucci bag, you'd rather get another camera. Bro, listen. I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll be real with you. I'm paying twenty thousand in a car. Mm. Man, I go fuck that shit. shit. That's more than my bond, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You remember, like, remember, you got to remember that, like, um, um, I've been alive, right? <laughs> I've been alive. You know what I mean? I've been, I've been, I've been making money ever since I was 21, bro. Yeah, yeah, 22 yeah. through rap, bro. True story. You know, so, you know, um, you, I can't sit and say I'm paying 20000 for a car. Nigga, is you out your goddamn mind? Mm. Are you saying that, like, I want to literally take this 20000 which I could be, if this 20,000 was a vehicle and times it by 12 and say 240,000, right? I'm taking this 240,000 and I'm giving it to the guys who never gave me jack when I was struggling. Mm. Every month, because I want you to think that I'm making it. Because mm. I want the next man to think I'm making it. But I ain't showed them my bank account. Mm. So you think that the car is me making it, but my bank account is on like minus something, something, because I'm literally like working on an overdraft. But you know, in the world that we live in now, it's all about perception. Fuck right? that shit, bro. I won't be perceptioning me and like now you're eating like fucking plastics at night. <laughs> I'm saying, I, I'm, and I'm saying that about me. I'm not yeah. talking about your life. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck about your perception on me. And for me, that goes down to the money I make. I ain't give a fuck about your perception. I will literally catch an Uber and, and my, my Uber trips are end up being 4000 versus 20000 a month that I'm paying on a car. And then let's say if I was paying like gas, 22000 which is probably what I was paying in my car. I literally did the numbers one day. I said, nigga, you might be out your goddamn mind. You remember you were struggling one day? Mm. This is out of your mind. Why don't you put this money into something else or be something? And that's just me and my personal capacity. I even told about my money in the business. Mm, mm, you know what I mean? Mm. So these are lessons that we got to get out there, nigga. Fuck that motherfucking car you driving. You ain't, you ain't looking nice. You making the German company look nice. Mm. The German company is looking even make nice. Our own cars, yeah? Man, the, 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 you you wear all those brands. The Italian company is looking nice. Mm. The Italian company is looking nice. It's in their GDP, brah, in exports. They looking nice, nigga. You here standing on Mr. Pip? Shit. I ain't saying don't get that car. I say if you gonna get that car, you gotta have enough dough. Use an example. You got to have 10 million in your account and literally get interest of 10 million, whether you put it on what they call a money maximizer on F&B, which gives you 7% an annum. You work out 7% of 10 million. Or you put it in a safe investment that can at least guarantee you 10 to 15%, which literally means that if it's 10%, it's like 1.5 million. Uh, a year, mm. which you 1.8 million a year, maybe you break that down into monthly, it's 150,000. You got 150,000 interest. You take the money in that interest from the bank, that 150,000. You go buy your fucking Maserati and pay 30,000 in the bank's interest. You mm. go buy that house for 4 million and the bank is paying interest. My nigga, we aiming for the wrong things. Mm-hmm. We got to be aiming to build our capital. And I've been making those mistakes myself, you know? So I'm just educating you, especially all the rap cats that are making all the money right now. So for me, if you, are, you ask me, don't I get like mad at times or that like that could have been. I'm mad at the fact that these kids aren't, aren't learning how to quadruple their money. Mm. I'm mad that these kids are worried about how they look more than actually like planning about how they could invest in being global properties. 
I'm more worried about the fact that these guys are not using the data from all the streaming companies to help themselves become global. I literally got a video from, I don't know if you know, a rapper called Sadat X and, and another rapper like from Artifacts, um, whatever his name is, I forgot him. Those guys were big in our day. I got a link of their video. Their video sitting on 200 views or 1,000 views. They were going on a trip into Dublin or whatever the case be, Europe. But their videos are doing worse than Questa. Hmm. They're doing worse than fucking, fucking Rouge, bruh. Hmm. Their numbers. But clearly they've got someone working the day saying, okay, you know what, you're not popping in America or New York, but like 100 people are, are fucking with you in Japan, and two, or 200 or 1,000 people are fucking you, with you in, in Greece. Let's look at the data. Let's put some money. Let's go build that. Let's get the money from there. That's how these guys keep working because the data. But we stop working because we only look here. But we haven't had the opportunity also to spread our content globally through your Spotify's, your your YouTube's, etc. We haven't been so now we've got it. So I'm just angry that like this data came when I'm not making music. Mm. But what even makes me more angrier is. The kids that I sit with, the rappers that I sit with, who've got the money that say, oh, gee, oh, gee, and they, and, and they don't use these things. And when you call them up and you go, yo, come through, I don't want nothing from you. Yeah. I don't want, I've connected so many people, like, and no one even knows that I'm behind it. And when people literally credit the guy who literally, they literally credit their companies and I don't say shit. But no one knows I'm behind a lot of things that are happening. And you cool with that? I'm cool. I just want to help, B. I just want to help because I don't want these guys to be like me. You know, if, you, if y'all go to MC Shan's page, he used to battle carry one. He dropped the thing and he did. I saw his video and, and, and he's like, yo, fu-, you know, I, I ain't saying it to the fans. I, I'm saying fuck hip hop. You see Barbara Streisand in them. You see the Rolling Stones in them. They literally like doing some other shit. They're putting their monies, investing in this and this. But fuck hip-hop. Hip-hop is the only genre that's not investing. And I'm here. I can't even rely on hip-hop. It's only, it's only for show money. I'm saying, my nigga, don't make money when you're hot only. You know, show money is the being hot only. That's the new show money, when you're hot only. You know what I mean? You got to literally be out there thinking about when I'm not hot. How who do, who do you think has got that to a T in the game right now? All that you just said. I would say Cuesta. I think Chris has got the has got has got a, a team that's smart enough. Um, I think the team can stretch themselves further, you know. Um, with everything that they've done, you know. I mean, I mean, Cuesta's a hard sell simply because he's he's still ghetto. He's a ghetto superstar, yeah. Right, yeah. And, and and white brands don't understand what ghetto aspiration yeah. is. Yeah. White brands keep on looking for for um clean cuts they keep on looking for um um safe and mm. what we understand mm. aspiration mm. Mm. which is almost similar to american yeah. aspiration yeah. It, what looks, they know, yeah. it looks like the american aspiration yeah. it looks like a jay-z aspiration yeah. it looks like it's safe you know they don't know what ghetto aspiration is they don't know ghetto aspiration is 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 they don't understand the concept of because now it's been obviously like what a vura is you know because now all oh, vura means this they don't know that Mood. like it, yeah they don't know that like um, Gary aspiration is is not half the things that like um, that they perceive, and mm. so Questers is his team has sold him even so, mm. so they they know what they're doing. I mean, I think that it's it's a couple of books. That Would you say Casper's also got it down to the T? I think Casper literally gets the Casper knows how to capitalize on himself. Casper knows how to capitalize on himself. He's a business within himself. He knows how to work with himself as a business. Um, with regards to stretching it further outside himself, you know, um, I'm yet to see that because, you know, um, um, I mean, he created Family Tree, you know, he created a, we, we, which had a couple of people on it, you know, he created a, he created a, um, 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 what else? I mean, most of the things that literally, Casper, for me, I think there's never been anyone that's been able to capitalize on talent and rap like he has been. All right, cool. I want you to pause a second. When we come back, I want to ask you about AKA. Ne? You even got ad breaks. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga asking me about my money. <laughs> Podcast and
Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. So, what's your take on AKA then? Um, I think AKA has been through a lot. You know, fifth season, Sony, Prince. Um, I think he's been through a lot, and um, shit, he's a fucking survivor also. Um, and he's good. Being, his music being, is timeless. Being, dude. being digital, you know, I think AK has been through a lot. You know, um, from <laughs> AKA for the first time called me two weeks ago about his money. Wow. You know, we did a job with him. Um, but I've never ever spoken to AK about his money. Mm. But he called me for the first time about his money. I think AKA is trying to start controlling a lot of these things. Um, so. I mean, Beam is a Beam only closed. Like what was he thing. saying about his money? Um, so we normally have a thirty-day, forty-day kind of payment thing. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think that like um, I hate those things. Hey, fuck. Man, it's either that or nothing. <laughs> I wait for thirty days, nigga, for for, for money, <laughs> nigga. Y'all will be like, I'll oh, fuck it, <laughs> nah, nigga. I'm gonna wait for this money. It's gonna be the same shit in thirty days, nigga. <laughs> you know. And then we'll buy a car. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, you know, so um, it's like a 30, 30, so it was a 30-day payment, and I think it wasn't internally within the, the team or the person that he oh. works with, it wasn't communicated. Mm. So he was, uh, he was about to go out to, um, to his flight to Nickelodeon, and, um, and he literally like, was like, I got a random phone number, it's clearly it's another number. Yo, Slick, what's up? Like, yo, what's happening, man? Like, it's Keenan. Like, oh, Keenan, what's up? Yeah, yeah, man. I just want to check, you know, that job that we did? Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Um, it's going to be paid after this. Well, yeah. uh, but, you know, because um, AK's fam, you know, um, I was like, look, but because he was like, no, he wants to spend it when he's out there in mm, the States. Mm, mm, mm. Or he, I think he was traveling or whatever. Mm. He's doing more shit. So I said, look, I'll try to see if I can push it before yeah. and I'll just yeah. wait, you know. Yeah. Um, but, um, but I mean, with Casper, we, 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 Casper calls me for his creative work, you mm, know. Mm. Um, Till this day. I mean, Casper's Casper's uh, very receptive, you know. I saw when uh, when I walked into the office, you got uh, t-shirts or like um, those uh, things of Philip. Yeah, um, yeah. We got, like, so you're uh, part of Philip? No, no. It, it, it's you know we're a hip hop office. I just like want oh. us to. No matter what we do. Oh, I see. No matter what we do, it, like it was this coming to start by a rapper. Even if they get rid of me tomorrow, even if they do whatever, it's mm. it's, it's it, this company was started because this nigga love rap music. Oh, I see. And this nigga loves that culture. Yeah. So I've got fill up there. I've got Ko's Cash Time merchandise. Yeah. I got AKA's merchandise that he was selling. I got Kidex stuff. So you know, it's just guys in the culture. You know that we have. You know. Tell me um, something, man. Why do all these screw screw kids have like an accent, dude, an American accent? Like, is there a school where you go to learn that <laughs> shit, man? I can't talk for those guys. And you, to some degree, you have an accent. So that's why I can't talk for them because <laughs> all I've listened to is rap music, bro. Is that where it comes from? Man, all I've listened to, all my influences, my first favorite movie. The first favorite, I used to watch all those American Ninja movies. But the first movie that made me feel like, oh my gosh, was coming to America. Yeah, yeah that was a dope I movie. I just love seeing. I watched that same movie, but I don't have the accent. No, but I was so, I was so, um, I was so taken by the American mm. culture, you know. So you consumed a lot of American. A lot cult- of American oh, culture. Um, but like one of the reasons also is that like I'd never seen black people in that light. Yeah. It's early. It's late eighties, early nineties. Black people are, are, you know, we're still going through the upper date shit. Mm. But I've never seen such swag, cool black people. Mm. Such, you know, when you had Ice T, who literally, who, public enemy, who said like, you know, NWA saying fuck the police. You know, like public enemy saying fight the power. They were not scared of white people. You know what I mean? I never seen black people so cool and not scared of white people because. I grew up around us. We were always taught to fear white people. Yeah. So these American guys, I never wanted to be like any black South African. Yeah. The only black guy that I literally saw and I said, in South Africa, that I said, oh, this guy is fucking cool, was Bob Mabena. Mm. You know hey, what I mean? Bob yeah. yeah. But other than that, I never wanted to be like, in. there was nothing aspirational for me in South Africa. And I know the kids are going through that right now. There's what nothing makes you say asp- that? Because um, they are, they, 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 I was, 
if you have, if, if if my content my content and i'm using the word content was progressive but it was on a tape it was on a cd there was only a few of us that were consuming that type of content it was limited there was only a few of us that understood those stories that read and researched only a few of us right and with that being a reality we it got in, in, in into our subconscious we wanted to be like that right mm. so today and then from us then the, the television was still there rap became but now all of a sudden there's a new piece of content consumption which is internet mm. these kids are born in the internet from the, for them a star starting off globally Mm. You know, they, they're not starting off from SABC Shit. One, Simonia, CCV, live. Bob TV, live. Already they've seen something from the, if they have iPads or whatever, already they've seen something from four or five years old that literally is global and influencing them globally. We were born in a, hey, SABC One, Two, Three. Ah, uh, still on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Open time. Open time, you know? So already we were limited. At least most of my generation was limited. But me, I was already heavily, heavily into hip hop. And that shit literally was a piece of content that made me think a certain way. Mm. That made me think hip hop has taken me through everything in my life. My entrepreneurial, my consciousness, my 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 love, you know, my 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 um my honesty, you know, mm. people don't like my blatant honesty. I can talk about my past. You know, the fact that, yo, I'm married and like, I, I'm, I'm in a, I mean, it's five years, you know, I, I haven't cheated out. Like, generally, I can talk about that shit because hip hop has liberated me to say that because someone else goes, oh, well, you, like I said, you, well, you're not supposed to cheat, but your mm. motherfuckers are cheating. Niggas are cheating. Yeah. I know this shit. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, so. It's insane sight. It, it, it's, it, you know what I mean? And it's not like I'm trying to say, that i'm good yeah it's just that i'm trying to say yo i'm maintaining in these streets i'm trying to keep it clean i'm trying to keep it focused do you know what i mean i mean uh, you know it's, it's, it's you'd what suck it is. as a wingman eh huh you'd suck as a wingman <laughs> no 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 no, no. I, I am uh, i i literally have to <laughs> who do you think is the next biggest superstar to come out this country mm. hip-hop wise Man, I don't even think that it's a... I think that we... I don't think we're looking at a superstar. I think we're looking at a global star. Yeah, yeah. As and I think saying. Nasty's starting that. Nah. Um, Shane is, 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 is almost like, you know, scratching the surface, you know? Mm, mm. Um, um, Reese, like, Reese just needs to play the game with the, with the players that want to play with him. He thinks everybody's against him, you know. This is Aries, mm, dude. Know? You know what happened? I was watching. Um, and an sorry, interview. and and that yeah. a, that attitude, literally, like, um, um, if you don't know who your enemies are, <laughs> you know, your friends literally are gonna go, but yo, and then you're gonna run to your enemies. You know what I mean? So, like, I tell you, everyone, everyone from the beginning, you know. Uh, Besides the friendship, if it made business sense, a check is signed. Business is done later on, one way or the other. And um, and and I'm and I'm I'm, I'm using Reese as an example. When y'all come in this game, it's I'd right, be angry. Yeah. But you're not the first to be angry. You're not the first to feel the system is against you. You know, my whole life is built of people. I tell people that. I wouldn't be here if anyone gave me everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here because everybody. Try to drop me. Yeah. Unlike you. Yeah. They try to drop me. <laughs> but I said, if I can build my own thing, I can only drop myself. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I know where the rebellious spirit comes from, from the youth, because I'm a product of that. I'm a product of the anger. I'm, I'm mad at old people, even though I'm, one, I'm, getting, I'm becoming one of them. But I'm mad at old people, and I'm, I'm angry at political lies. I'm, I'm just mad at their shit because they not, they don't, they don't, they're not investing in our future. Because what I saw, dude, when I watched uh, one of uh, your episodes on Slick on Life, you had A. Reese, and you went to his house. And I don't know, I lost count. There was about 30 people in that house, mm-hmm. right? So I'm looking at this, and I was cringing, right? Uh, listen, I'm not in the hip hop world, yeah, yeah. Uh, but just looking at that, I'm like, dude, what You're the like, fuck? Shit, I'm gonna you eat off the 13 people, <laughs> and then 30 niggas are gonna pray first. <laughs> I'm like, 
what the fuck are you doing? Like, the guy is talented. And to me, all those people just seemed like leeches. And he just looked to me like he needed a bigger brother or someone, you know, he trusts. Someone who's older who can just sit him down and say, listen, this is serious, B. Like, this is life. Like, you can set your family up for generations to come if you take this seriously. Because it seemed like they just get together, get high, make music, go go um, to a club, come back, fuck bitches, that's it. You know mm. what I mean? And that's the life. Mm. Look, I, I, look, I don't want to be judgmental on Yeah, I'm, I'm not being judgmental. I, I'm and just all, saying. Also, I don't, know they, I don't know what they do in their personal life. I'm just speaking from... Um, but you didn't feel like that when you were doing that interview? Um... I feel like I felt like um, there's an opportunity for lessons to be learned, and and I think that um, you know um, you know what the, you know you know how help works if it's received. Mm, mm, help mm. never works. You can help because in here comes the yeah, help works if it's received. That's the thing about help. It's a two. It involves more than one person. You know. Um, not to say that he needs any help, not to say, but even a big brother comes when someone wants to be a small brother. Mm. It, it, actually don't, it don't work with the, you can't just be a big brother only. Mm. And an OG only comes if you want to be a little G. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, and um, so I felt that when, it, like there, I felt that there's, there's a lesson to be learned. There's an opportunity for a lesson to be learned. Yeah. I saw a post about yesterday about how some guys have left the group. Uh, it was a post that came out on Twitter. Um, but I think there's a lesson to be learned. Mm. Um, and I say this with the most, um, with the, I say this in the most, I hope that the lesson is learned before everything is lost. Mm. That's it. Because that's part of growth as well. You yeah, know? because... Um, you got to allow soci- the natural things to happen. Yeah. I mean, you got to... You know, that, like I said, you know, um, we're fortunate that even though we were fucking around, mm. um, none of us got sick. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, we're fortunate that even though we were traveling on the road all the time, we never got into a accident. fatal accident. accident yeah. You know, we're fortunate that, like, even though we were successful and people were getting drunk, like, no one ever could, mm. like, go, oh, man, mm. like, now I'm taking drugs, you mm. know. Mm. Um, we're fortunate that we're from the hood, and, and even though we're from the hood, and some guys are from the hood, and whether even whether they went back to the hood or not, that, like, if you look at all the squatter camp guys, you know, they they, 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 they well kept, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, just, like, Reason them they fortunate that they got this success mm. and they fortunate that they've got this love mm, you know mm. but at least we were when we were making those mistakes we can go hey at least we made it through mm. so with reason them i can only pray for yeah, them makes it the flame the works you know mm. all the crew that like whether they're together or not that at least they make it through yeah. you know because for me to sit here and go yeah yeah, yeah just because yeah. i made it through yeah, yeah. that shit would be ignorant yeah it would so be. all i need to do is that sometimes when you are an og you don't literally like put kids down and go them niggas i can only say that reese got a lot of potential yeah and i hope that he makes it through yeah and, um, and he fulfills it yeah you know i mean everything i agree man it, the it, music it, that makes us fire yeah, it, it, it's almost like you know what it's almost like um when your food is ready there you know um and all you have to do is come out the bedroom and go get it. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't have food ready there. Mm. You know, some people are not being treated by Sway. The mm. food. Yeah. Sway is already going, yo, Reese, where you at? Some people have masonja. You know, you know some people are not even called by Oskiri. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> so all I'm just saying is that, like, Reese's food is there. Mm. He just needs to open the door mm. and listen to who are his friends on the journey. Because, you know, you won't get up there. And and you can't. Not everybody's trying to get you. Right, hey, cool. You know what I mean. Listen, I'm out of time. Let's wrap this up. Which mm. which um, youngsters are you fucking with right now? Like, give me a top five rappers that you're loving right now. I mean, obviously, Hash, Big Hash. I love that kid. Um, I love his energy. Um, um, why does this guy's name always? It's just that he's got a weird name. <laughs> Um, but he did. He won the verse of the verse of the verse of the year um, thing. Um, he's from Timbisa. He's signed to Ghetto Rough. Okay. Ghetto for Rough is still around. Man, shout out to Lance. Man, that man can't stop, won't stop. That's passion, you know. Yeah. It's like I, I just want to say I'm saying shout out to Lance. I mean, like shout out to you also. Yeah. It's like you know, 
fuck what you've been told by whoever you out here mm. you're doing it this is what life is about life is about doing what you want to do you know what i mean yeah. and you want to grow up and be and still i was telling someone today they go yeah you know you gotta you know, motivate them. i'm like no you gotta motivate the old people who think that they too old to to fucking get down mm. to fucking still dream yeah. to fucking still chase you get down things. with your kid right we get down man i mean my kid is my kid is in street slang you know yeah. I, i'm getting him ready so i'm we're gonna be out there partying <laughs> I'm gonna be going to a strip club with my kid. <laughs> yeah. Yo, straight my up. Nigga. But you're not, get... buy, huh? <laughs> you're not gonna buy, I get You're not gonna buy. I mean, you know, <laughs> he'll have to. I mean, I ain't gonna for, I ain't gonna impose anything to him. Yeah. But I'm gonna take him to things. We're gonna do things. You know, it's like you know, um, we become young again by 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 teaching our kids how to how to how to um. Be wild, yeah. But know how to how to how to go. Yeah. Nah, I mean, I'm like, like, who am I doing? It? Why am I? You know, when you're smoking and you're drinking, mm. and your parents don't know, you kind of overdo it. Yes, you do. You know, so we want we, we want we want to get them kids out there on some. Yo, this is what this is. Yeah. You want yo? We're gonna go to strip club. This is what this is. You know, yeah. uh, let them niggas who are here spend the the all their allowance. But you know, you know how it is. You know, maybe you'll spend it on one. Maybe you'll spend it on a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once a month, then you'll go upstairs and disappear. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. Is, uh, is MT in your top five? MT, man, MT is one of the... I mean, when you're talking young, I, I wasn't say, thinking of him per se, but MT for me is one of the, one of the best songwriters. Yeah, yeah? I agree. Um, Dude, that guy, I, I, I say the story on, 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 on the podcast every single time. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I don't really smoke weed, right? Not yeah. that much. It gets me paranoid. Yeah. But this one time, me and my girl, we had some weed and we were listening to Manando. And uh, I could hear every single thing he was listen, saying. Listen. And I'm like, that song is so listen, deep. Listen. Like, it, I heard everything. I could feel his and pain. And he tells the story. Yeah, you know? My dog. Fuck that. Fuck that. MT. I sleep on MT, right? Um. Um, and you got MT. I mean, look, if you're on go, I mean, obviously, we like nasty, not just the music, the attitude, the, the, like the mind, you know. Um, um, I mean, he gives you something, man. You I've know? never heard a bad track from MT. MT, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. The MT is a great songwriter. Uh, what's that song with Stoji T? Ah. That song, what was that song with Stoji T, bro? Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. Um, I, I'm killing myself because I can't remember this kid's name. MT. Um, obviously, like I said, nasty. Um, um, man, I love Manu. I love the evolution of Manu. You know what I mean? Um, from a Vuzu artist to just being what he is. Um, I, I just love the research that Shane does from the music. He does sounds that are older than him. When I was know. watching Vuzu, I saw that Shane's going to be a superstar. You could just see it. Mm, mm. You could just see it. I mean, um, um, like, um, man, they, 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 uh, I hate it when people ask me this because I, I don't remember everyone and then it's like ah oh, so uh, the OG yeah, ain't feeling yeah. me you yeah, know yeah. you know i mean these other kids that are um, champagne 69 I, I i just love how they've like like kind of like come in the industry like they've been in the industry for years mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. um i mean you obviously can't um fault rouge you know yeah. um 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 you can't fault um um nadia's hustle and drive i wanted you know? to ask you what do you think about all these djs that buy beats from ghost producers um, I don't know, like how, how you mean, like producers? Like, or? Yeah, like Capital, Speedster, all those guys. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm, shit. I mean, like how's DJs have been doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the longest like, time. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Hi, my dog. My battery's low. We gotta stop this, dude. I could talk to you the whole day, bro. Right? Yeah, man. But listen, okay. thank you so much for coming through, man. Man, thank you, man. You thank know, you. So man. we're gonna have uh, a sit down privately, so you can show me how to monetize this thing, man. You know? Man, listen, man. Y you know when you don't have money, what you have? Just your heart, be yeah, yeah. And you have that. Yeah, that's what's been keeping the podcast going for so long. You know, you have that. You have heart. Mm. And you know, like any business, I say, if you're gonna do a business, you ain't gonna make money for three, four years. You gotta also know how to be in a stable relationship. You know, um, 
you got to know how to be to be committed to one person. That's what a business is. Um, it's like a relationship. And when your heart is in something, your heart never leaves. You can be distracted. You, but like your heart is like what's Scott Storch. You know, yeah, he went, Scott's he went on the man. drugs. Yeah. Wow, wow. But his Came heart back. is back. Is in the music, yeah. even if he's not with. But his heart is always. So you got heart. You know, you've shown that um, countless of times. So um, all right. So we got slick on life. Uh, yeah. uh, and squatter camp is there something we're doing i mean i can't only speak uh, um out of turn without them but um, yeah but yeah the, the meeting the reason why i was late is because i'm trying to go um i'm trying to get something um for 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 us as a group also yeah. to make it happen i, I mean cool. everything is an attempt man dude i've been trying to get aries on my podcast for the longest time do you want to give him a call and let's see because he never answers his phone bro bro i got a segment for aries where we try <laughs> calling <man. laughs> He never answers his phone. You know, you know, he never answers his phone. Let's try it out, dog. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even. I even got messages for his, from his manager. <laughs> People all the time are asking me, hey, Reese, 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 Reese. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, yo, hey, listen, man. Um, you got his number there? No, I, I don't even know if I got his number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come try call him. Yeah, let's try call him, Reese. Let's, let me try call Reese. Let me try call him. <laughs> Let's try call him. Maybe he might answer, dude. No, I've been trying no, to get no. this guy since last year. Calling. And his phone is always off. They say he hates his phone. Yeah. He's got a lot speaker there. Here's what we do on what they say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep on trying. <laughs> we'll keep on trying. We got a segment for Reese, which is try call Reese. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. <laughs> One love, my dog. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, my Appreciate it, man. This was dope. Yeah. We could have done this forever. But anyway, do check out Slick On Live. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, comment, and share. Yo, shout out. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.